Welcome to the Bog Group, where we daily work into the organic synthesis field. My name is Pietro. And my name is Manuel. Photochemistry is one of our topics of interest, of which we are going to show you uh, one of our most recent applications. The advantage of our photochemical approach relies in the use of an abundant, cheap and easily available source of energy such as visible light. In order to exploit such energy, we use a catalyst capable to promote the reaction by absorption of such visible light, just like chlorophyll does in plants. Now we proceed with the experiment. We need a diazonium salt which, by catalysis of a ruthenium derivative, will first couple with an olefin and subsequently cyclides in the final product. These lactone derivatives are known for an antibiotic, anti-inflammatory and anti-allergic effect. In order to mount the reaction, we first add the solids, which are the catalyst, then the diazonium salt, we solubilize with acetonitrile as a solvent, and in conclusion, we add the olefin. It's time to insert the flask inside our photochemical reactor. The blue light, provided by LED stripes covering the reactor, will excite the catalyst and thus activate a radical mechanism furnishing the isochromanone product. Four hours has passed and the reaction changes its color, sign of reactivity. Now we need to check the completion of the reaction and we can do so by means of a TLC, thin layer chromatography, a common organic method. The experiment has been successful. On reaction R, you can see the new spot of the product with respect to the substrates S1 and 2. The different properties of these molecules make them run with a different speed. Now that we brought you inside our chemistry, we should go back to work. Thank you very much. Ciao! Ciao!